Hello friends, today we are going to talk about the simplest machine learning model, linear statistical regression. So to start with, we have data, the input variable x in the x-axis, the output variable y in the y-axis, say weight of a cow and the milk produced by the cow. These red dots are the actual data and this blue line is the best fitted line or uh, the regression line from which we can estimate the milk of the cow given its weight. Suppose a new cow has come, we know his know her weight. So we can we can estimate the milk produced by the cow. So this is the concept of simple linear re regression. And in case of there are more than one input variables, we need to fit a linear plane to the data. Question comes, suppose the relation is not linear between the input and the output, then we trans we, we take the transformed uh, transform values of the input variables and then try to fit a linear relation between the input and the output. So, these green dots are the actual data. This blue line is the fitted line, the least square line or the best linear regression line. And these vertical distances are the errors. Okay. So, we would like to fit a line y equal to w0 plus w1x plus error. So, from the data, we will try to estimate the values of w0 and w1. So, we need to take the derivative of uh, of, 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 the, of the of the loss function so the loss is the squared error loss then we need to take the derivative of w0 and w1 set them equal to 0 and find the estimates of w0 and w1 so this is learning from data from the data we estimate the value of the coefficient that is learning and to get the best prediction line or the prediction plane More generally, in, in, in multivariate setup, we have y equal to fxn or w transpose xn for n equal to 1 to capital N. And uh, this we, we denote by the loss function, loss of the actual value given the predicted value. This could, this, this could be squared error loss, this could be the uh, absolute value, uh, absolute deviation, etc. This could be, uh, this is up to our choice. And so if we take the square root of loss yn minus w, trans, w transpose x in whole square summation, then the uh, best estimate of the weights would be the arg mean that minimizes the squared error loss and we know how to do do this this is called normal equation and the relation turns out to be x transpose x inverse x transpose y so that is the best fitted line or the best fitted plane to the data this is squared error loss there could be many other loss like um, absolute deviation modulus of y n minus f x n. There are several other loss, Huber loss, then Wapnick loss, I don't know much about it. But that is up to our choice, which loss to use. So, W least square line as found by Carl Frederick Gauss using his normal equation is x transpose x inverse x transpose y. And uh, what happens if x transpose x is not invertible, it is not non-singular, then we, we, can, we can use a small lambda function, lambda constant with uh, reach function of the weights. This goes to then, this then goes to ridge regression. So the loss becomes the actual loss from the data plus lambda times rw and this rw could be the square data w transpose w 
then we need to minimize summation yn minus w transpose x n whole square plus lambda w transpose w and the best estimate comes as summation x n transpose x n x n transpose plus lambda i d this is the i d is the identity matrix with ones in the diagonal zeros everywhere inverse summation y n x n this is similar to x transpose x x transpose x plus lambda i inverse x transpose y this goes to these regression and uh, this is all about these regression there comes the point of overfitting and underfitting and ridge regression with small values of lambda works well to remove overfitting and underfitting. Suppose we have a simultaneous equation y1 equal to w transpose x, then if, if it is rarely the case the number of observations is equal to the number of parameters so that we can solve it. If n is bigger than n is less than d then it is called underdetermined if n is bigger than d it is it is called the case of overdetermined so the solution is learned from the data using the formula w equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y i'll stop here thank you